What's going on, YouTube? Hi, y'all missed me. Guess what? I missed y'all too. I've been out of town working. Been getting to that bag as an electrician up until YouTube. You know, I get right with YouTube or up until this electrician shit take me off. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's good to do. It's, you know, but I'm not gonna glitch y'all. Uh, you know, uh, I ain't gonna do y'all like that. But yeah, I'm hot. But we got some hot to watch. Fuck is you talking about? We got Drake breaks silence on shooting at his home. Now, I I was watching all this shit. Well, not watching this video specifically, but I was hearing about this over over the time of me being gone. So I was like, oh yeah, most deaf. Got to got to react to this once I get back to the crib. So without that being said, let's continue with the video. We'll start with the video. <laughs> I'm fucking up. My bad. My bad. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get right. I'm gonna get right. Chill out. Drake has improved. In less than 48 hours, Kendrick Lamar dropped three diss tracks on him, which he had to deal with. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. In addition, he had to deal with graffiti from Toronto residents on his OVO store. But the shooting at his house was the most terrifying experience. Shots were fired outside the rapper's Park Lane Circle home at around 2 in the morning on May 7. According to NBC, Drake's representatives released a statement. But it wasn't until DJ Academics went live later that day that we heard directly from the artist. I, I have spoken with Drake and, and he's okay. The OVO Camp's media spokesman, Academics, relayed a message he received directly from the six god he's, he said he's good nothing more than that nothing less the well-known figure on the internet did regret that there had been injuries in the shooting obviously you know there's someone who's probably still battling for their life and got shot at his house he added but if you're wondering drake himself he's fine and i think that's short and sweet the shooter was an employee of Drake's protection detail. Inspector Paul Kroczyk of NBC said that although no information was given, the victim was bleeding outside Drake's house when the police came. It was suggested by Kroczyk that the victim had been shot from a vehicle which then fled the scene. Mmm. Ayo. Ayo. Whoever did it, no no funny shit. You're weird as fuck. Like the, the Kendrick and the Drake, if that's about that, you're absolutely weird as fuck. Now if it's about something else, still, why? Why? Just, you know, just why? You putting people life in danger over how you feel or some what's it like why? Spectre withheld information regarding the vehicle's make and model as well as the number of suspects they are pursuing. But he did point out that the event was captured on camera. The mustard produced West Coast hit Not Like Us, which is Kendrick Lamar's most recent Drake diss track, has the hip hop industry responding angrily and swiftly. The Toronto superstar and his Compton counterpart both have a lot of pressure and stuff to answer for, even though it's still unclear who won in the end. Predator, domestic abuse, deadbeat, and fake paternity claims are issues that no one can forget or completely escape. In light of this, DJ Academics recently brought Joe Budden back to the everyday struggle, inviting him to talk about this new song over the phone during his stream. You could be surprised by their opinions, but overall, they are impressed. 100% categorically is a lot. Does that matter? DJ Academics questioned Joe Budden over the accusations made against Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Budden suggested that two crucial criteria to measure this are having the correct answer about T and having an honest, self-assured conversation about it. Both pundits praised each MC's strategies and playmaking, and Act noted that Kendrick was able to tie Drake on the club record front. See, this is why these guys are such geniuses, right? The podcaster believes that Mr. Morale's case is strengthened on the cultural front by the streamer's question about whether this was a particular benefit for the West Coast. Then, DJ Academics and Joe Budden talked about whether Drake would be wise to even address Kendrick Lamar's accusations of being a predator. They acknowledged that K-Dot has the upper hand in that situation, particularly in light of Drizzy's declaration that he will take a vacation. The best thing for Drake to do is find an out, Budden remarked, but going on vacation would be acknowledging defeat, which gives Kendrick permission to bombard him with as many bombs as he pleases. However, they also conceded that the OVO mogul is too well-known an artist with too large of a following to truly collapse. Additionally, Joe Budden and DJ Academic speculated about whether Drake had deleted his entire clip, but they also reasoned that perhaps Drake's criticism of the other rappers involved in this feud suggests Otherwise, Ack was taken aback when Budden even stated that he was content with the current state of their beef and would be glad if it ended. In the midst of the rapper's current spat with Drake, a post from Kendrick Lamar's fiance Whitney L. Ford talking about her mental health and going to therapy is making the rounds on social media. On his diss tune Family Matters, released on Friday, the Toronto rapper mentioned L. Ford while accusing Lamar of abuse. With his own song, Meet the Grahams, Lamar instantly retaliated, claiming that Drake has been concealing a second child. Regarding L. Ford's May 20. Uh, two article she penned a second child drake 
You got another baby on the way, ski. Now, I heard it was Cap. I heard some of this shit was Cap. But let me find out. He actually do got a child on the way. I was stuck in a time and place that was no longer my reality and was no longer serving me. My babies forced me to take a long look at myself and journey back through the very things that made me. I've always yeah. carried the light with me. As a child, no one was able to help me process. Many times silence was enforced because my emotions were a lot to handle. Hiding my pain has been a technique I've mastered my entire life. Mask it with a smile and everything is good. Silence has been my superpower, protecting me in the most vulnerable spaces. From there, I'll Ford revealed, then I was referred to a great therapist. She continued, after a few years of hard work, I can finally say I hear my own voice again. And it's very powerful. I use my smile when it feels genuine. And it's beautiful. Allowing the world in and sharing my experience is one of my greatest fears. But truth is always very important for me. I've lived a sober life, feeling every single part of it, with the exception of mastering how to float when it's all too much. But I yearn to be centered, to flow, to heal, to enjoy life. Less than a day after dropping Meet the Grahams, Kendrick Lamar is intensifying his feud with Drake, calling him a pedophile in a new diss track. The 17-time Grammy winner dropped a new song called Not Like Us. Kendrick uses the song to call Drake a pedophile before actually referring to him as such. Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. First of all, the cover art depicts Drake's house covered in sex offender beacons. The inference... Oh! That's what that... I thought it was because people was at his house. Because then I was going to be like, nah, that's fucked up. But that's pedophile. <laughs> nah, you're wild for that, Kendrick. Evident right away before KL goes into great detail about the man he is at odds with. Kendrick says he's heard that Drake tells those connected to the rapper to keep their small sisters hidden from him because the rapper likes his girlfriends while they're young. Another section sees Lamar continuing the conversation, calling Drake a colonizer in line with other rappers who have been openly criticizing Drake's level of black community ties. In case you're wondering if this song could be artificial intelligence, the likelihood is low because Kendrick released it on his own YouTube channel. Kendrick Lamar released Meet the Grahams yesterday night, and as we previously reported, he made similar accusations in that song, telling Lebron James and Steph Curry to keep their families away from Drake because he is a pervert. This is Kendrick's second diss track in two days. The whole music industry is currently focused on the intense rap dispute between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. All things considered, this has been building since Kendrick released his control rap back in 2013. After Kendrick released like that, it was evident that he was looking to get into a serious dispute. Drake then surprised everyone with push-ups and kept poking fun at us with tailor-made freestyle. After releasing a huge song on Tuesday called Euphoria, Kendrick mm. appears to be winning Galbait by a narrow margin. At the conclusion of Kendrick's diss track, he makes fun of the slang associated with Toronto and the accent. There was one word used specifically, Crody. Don't speak on the family, Crody. You can get deep in the family, Crody. You'll hear this word a lot Crody. in Toronto, and Kendrick used it in a way that seemed a little insulting. It appears that Drake has responded to the usage of the term. View a screen grab of Adonis gazing in the mirror from his Instagram story. Drake captioned this image with the words mirror time, Crody after that. When Drake will respond to Kendrick is a matter for speculation. We are going to receive a rebuttal, that much is clear. DJ Academics has attested to this. It might arrive the following week, or it might arrive in a month. Fans should certainly lower their expectations because it seems that this specific conflict has a usual reaction time of three weeks. With the release of Kendrick Lamar's countertrack, Euphoria, the battle between him and Drake is officially going into its second round. Following the opening like that and Drizzy's re Hold up. Who y'all got winning? We all got one and all up in the end, cause we know, we know this shit is gonna drag on for a little minute. But who y'all think gonna win in the comments? Me personally, I don't give a damn. I still got Kendrick. No disrespect, Drake. I still got Kendrick. Push-ups and tailor-made freestyle. We are pretty much aware of the primary strategies that each MC is employing to counter their opponent. Regarding the OVO camp, one of the most noteworthy, novel, and explosive incidents involved his allegation that Whitney L. Ford, the wife of K-Dot, had cheated on him with one or more of his bodyguards. Damn. Although Kendrick stated that this was a phony attempt to ignite debate about euphoria, fans dug further into the Toronto rapper's back catalog and found additional lines that might imply this. Just pulled mm. up to Whitney Houston, Texas for the evening. Drake sings a verse on DJ Khaled's 2020 collaboration pop star fans think if this also hinted at whitney since it's set up similarly to his reference to her on push-ups i be with some bodyguards like whitney nevertheless given the preceding pop star remark it's also plausible that the true significance of this line lies in aubrey's decision to thoroughly examine the bodyguard it's the 1992 movie starring whitney houston and kevin costner which launched her popular dolly parton cover song i will always love you 
The boy addresses this person in the previous line of pop star. If we talking joints, it's just me and David Foster. Therefore, there's not really anything here that links this to Drake's mockery of Kendrick Lamar on push-ups. And just so you know, he'll probably do it again with whatever he's working on next. Let's put aside our tinfoil hats for a moment. Though, perhaps he is hinting that the real threats to Kendrick and Whitney's relationship aren't Kevin Costner's the white women the Compton lyricist acknowledged to having an affair with years prior to this feud, but rather the bodyguards in their own orbit. Like in the Hit Em Up beginning, the Six God might have even implied that he was with Whitney on Popstar. Just wait until you hear what comes next if you felt that was a read. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Mm. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Let me know how y'all think this beef gonna end. It's gonna end with somebody's feelings getting hurt for real skis. And it's gonna end with K dot on top. But anyways, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Eee.